Shine on me like the lonely moon above, and together we will build a library, a library of love. Huh? A beginner's guide to writing poetry. Bam! You are dumb, somebody. There are many constants in the world. Pain, suffering, taxes. But there's one thing in terms of misery spreading that just hits different, and that's pettiness. I don't dislike you. I nothing you. Oh, thanks. Petty is something that connects all of us through any medium. Anime, cartoons, TV, film. There's petty characters everywhere. There's so many petty characters, so get this video to, I don't know, 30 likes? I'll do a part two. I'm broken, my content takes some effort, so my effort is on sale. Order now. Maybe I need to do some reactions. Some good old low effort trash, isn't that right? XQC, Hazan Biker, Sniper. Because I'm playing both sides so that I always come out on top. I'm talking shit, but who knows? I may end up just like them. This high effort and no reward bullshit has worn me out. I need someone, I need someone to carry me to the promised land. You fine? No. All right, petty characters, who we got? Yeah. First one up, the janitor from Scrubs. Ah! And no, I didn't forget the dude's name. He's actually just called The Janitor. Been here for eight years and I don't know your name. I call you The Janitor. I'm sure I have asked you what your name is. If you're not familiar with it, the show Scrubs was a banger TV series from the early to mid 2000s. Damn near a different time. Can you imagine what that was like back in 2008? Huh. Gives me whiplash. Ah! The janitor is a petty, petty man. But can you blame him though? Who woke up one day as a kid and was like, oh yeah, I wanna be a janitor when I grow up. His whole mission in life by this point was to just to terrorize JD and anyone else in his path. Floor is wet. You know, I liked the way blonde haired doctor looked. She brightened my day. But you don't care, do you? Cause you're unconscious. Holy felony. He lives and breathes petty. He was born in it, molded by it. He's so petty, he doesn't even want to work. Not now, Gandhi. Darn it all, I, I could have sworn there was a room right here. Do you hear something? The gal from e I mean, we can relate to that, huh? Coming to bed, honey? Yes, dear. Imagine being so petty, you make up a game called Jiggly Ball, just so you can line up all of someone's closest friends and acquaintances, who doesn't hurt anyone, mind you, so they can mafia-style gun him down with balls. And the sassy black lady finishes him off. I want you to think of this as a corn muffin. <laughs> God damn, JD can't even hum the sad song in his own show, by the way, without getting fucked because the janitor is so petty. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Just know that the janitor is committed to his petty craft. That was a mistake. Why is that? Because you're afraid you can't take me? No, it's because of this. Boys! You know where to take him. You gotta take me? Who's taking me with me? Maintenance? Maintenance? Oh, I got names now! The maintenance brother! Oh. Next up on the petty train... Eustace Bay! This petty king hails from one of the freakiest shows to ever air. Your childhood nightmares are an average Tuesday for this man. And what fresh hell is this? Whatever it is, they can handle it. Still. I don't know or even remember why he's so petty. Is it because Curtis gets more attention from his wife than him? She does a lot for this man, but he's just regularly being petty. I'm here to double down. The only thing uglier than this is this. <laughs> what a bitch. My man casually pulls up to someone and with raw disdain in his heart, calls them a freak. Freak. Bitch. And to be fair, I don't think Houston's missed when he said that, but that's cool. Some freaks make life interesting. Let the door be slammed and stuck shut while he fucked off for an entire evening. He may not have been in the wrong, but it's still not nice. Went well out of his way to chop down an innocent tree. Bro even got cursed for being petty. Upon your shiny head, a curse. There was one episode where it just signifies how petty this man is. Bro is so petty, there were cannonballs that make you miserable and they had no effect on him. 
lousy teenagers! He's so pity he doesn't even want to leave his chair. Fuck physics. Not getting out of this chair. The man is so petty it resulted in a giant kaiju battle. Houston may have not had all the gadgets or powers or magic to be a petty jackass, but he made up for it with his pure commitment to being a petty dick zen master. To a dog no less. A dog that saves their asses on a regular basis. That's why that motherfucker gets bonked so much. <laughs> And then we got this wild ass chick. And before you say it, yes, wood. I, I, I gotta go chop me some wood. So this is an old story. Disney jacked from, well, yeah, you know how Disney operates. It's okay for me, but not for thee in regards to taking stuff. This story showcases pettiness knows no time period. But no, it's a common trait. I got pettiness in spades. It's ingrained in my DNA. But the story of Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent's fine ass, she curses a character known as Aurora to die on her 16th birthday. What a bitch. And she can only wake up with a kiss from a generic white dude. Yeah, yeah, you know how it goes. So anyways, get this shit. The Aurora family, royalty, elites, bougie fucks. I don't know what the fuck their last names are. Anyways, they're having a party for their plus one, and Maleficent pulls up. She's like, Greetings, you little shits. Seems there was a clerical error. My invite must have got lost in the mail. You even have Carl Jr.'s busted ass here. And who's that kid on the other end? One of y'all diddling that kid? This is medieval times. We do heinous shit regularly. Do not diddle kids. It's no good diddling kids. Anyways, why the fuck was I not invited? And the blue fairy's like, Bitch, I bet you got a yeast infection from that crow. And Maleficent's like, nah, I got it from your oh, mama. mama and your daddy. I unicorn them regularly. And the main king is like, well, I don't know, male. Male gremlin must have got to it. What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. And Maleficent's like, hmm, so you choose violence. I bet I was going to smoke your kid now, but since you got jokes, she'll be fine as hell. I know what y'all like. She will have a Mariah Carey voice. All I want for Christmas and all that bullshit. <laughs> but once that little bum hits her 16th birthday, she gonna die. And the queen in Minecraft? No, not in Minecraft. Oh no. Get that bitch. Whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you for not sending me an invite. Fuck the rich. Fuck the king. Fuck the goofy ass tailor that designed your night's busted ass outfits. Mel out. And sure, she tried to kill y'all kid, but what y'all got against the green skin baddies? Come on, some of y'all would drink her bath water. You drink worse. More bien. Could have invited her at least. Cover your bases. Y'all know that bitch crazy. Ha, <laughs> victim blaming. It's even more so petty because instead of just getting it over with, she gave a baby an expiration date. A quinceanera expiration date. <laughs> Let me stress you the fuck out that your child is going to die young. Imagine just being the baby. Like, what did I do? I just spawned. <laughs> You ever just not get invited to something, but you're so petty you put a curse on someone's family member? Curse. I heard it already. I know it's a friggin' curse. But she got that crazy bitch face, so. <laughs> Even to the bitter end, she's petty. Trying to take this man out till and with her dying breath. Honestly, I'd be fine if he fell off the cliff with her, with his generic ass. Anyways, that's what happens when you're this level of petty. You end up becoming the head honcho in a convoluted ass video game franchise. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. I do know hurt. Anyways, that's all the pity you get for now. Like the video, goddammit. Hit the sub button for some more of that good shit. Send a super thanks if you appreciate hanging out. Send a super thanks if you hated it. That'll, that'll also teach me a lesson. Save me from the dark side. Seriously, save me from the dark side. Excuse me!